Afternoon VC. Um, so this is a video I had not planned on doing today. Um, I was preparing to do a video uh, featuring Sam Rivers. Um, but I was out here getting ready to pull those records and I was looking at Instagram early this morning. And Mike from uh, the UK, I believe he runs the BBE label uh barely breaking even that does like the japanese jazz comps and other reissues uh and it's not unlike him to post like a bunch of records from his collection like in one photo but he posted a ton of pharaoh's sanders records I'm like oh very cool oh you've got these pharaoh records and i read the post and it says that pharaoh passed away um and i guess it was early this morning maybe in los angeles so that's heavy news. Um, God damn it. But, I mean, he lived a hell of a life. Um, I think he was 81. I, I'm not sure how old he was. Um, but he was playing right up until the end. Uh, still playing gigs at times. Um, and so... The records here I pulled are some things he's been a sideman on and then I've got you know of course his records as a as a leader um, there's quite a bit here uh, that I know that he played on uh, there might be more in these shelves um, that didn't come to mind but the immediate things that came to mind are the stuff that I've heard him that I've actually spun most recently that he's played on and of course the one would be first one would be floating points uh, with the London Symphony Orchestra and his playing on this is absolutely phenomenal, just from down deep. Um, yeah, I mean, it's what like Thurston Moore calls spirit music. Um, and this is not overall one of my favorite records, uh, just being honest. Um, uh, the, you know, the repetitive deal from Floating Points on this, is it's, it's good. I just don't find it all that original, um, personally. But it's a it's a it's a really great uh, collaboration um, that they did here, though, on Luca Bop. Um, and Pharaoh, like I said, Pharaoh's parts on that make make that record for me. Um, and then the other thing is kind of is something deep from the past. Uh, I love Supreme live in Seattle from John Coltrane. And of course, Pharaoh is here on tenor as well. Um, one of the only known live performances of a Love Supreme that was unearthed out of a basement. I just, I don't understand why there's folks that complain about the sound on this. You weren't meant to fucking hear it to begin with. At all. <laughs> it was unearthed out of a basement. It was, you know, just a guy that recorded the gig. Probably just to have for himself or whatever. Anyway, there's that. Um, some records I forgot he played on uh, until I started looking through my collection. Uh, this is one, uh, this is an intense one. Uh, Chapaqua Suite from Ornette Coleman. Uh, this is a 66 French copy uh, that I found at Carolina Soul in the bins when I was up there one time. Um, remnants of a final remnants of a collection from a professor at Duke that I will show you another record of from later in this video. This is this is a wild affair. This one's an assault on the senses. Not for everyone. A lot of horns going crazy on that one. Uh, another one I forgot he played on. This Alvin Jones uh, McCoy Tyner Quintet album Love and Peace on the trio la label from Japan. Um, I think I got this at Lunchbox. I think he had got a collection of a bunch of Japanese pressings from a guy he had been trying to buy them from for a long time, Scott. Um, but yeah, Pharaoh is on tenor on this. This is a really, I love this cover. Um, fantastic record. And there's Pharaoh. Great picture of Pharaoh there. Sorry for the glare. Elvin Jones, McCoy, Tyner, Richard Davis, and on 
electric guitar, Jean-Paul Borelli, who is also a killer on this. Uh, he played with a lot of different musicians over his career. Don Cherry was one of them. Uh, he's on, the, of course, Symphony for Improvisers, one of my favorite Don Cherry records. One of my favorite Blue Notes, period, a top five Blue Note. Uh, Gato Barbareri on this, even Shines. Uh, I'm not a big fan of his, but man, is his playing just unbelievable on this too. Pharaoh's on tenor and piccolo on this. Uh, yeah, if, if you don't know this one, highly recommend as far as blue notes are concerned. This is an original uh, stereo copy, I believe. Uh, also with Don Cherry, he appears on Where is Brooklyn? This is the classic series. This is a record, an original has eluded me for so goddamn long. I can sometimes find it in a, at a decent price, like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, but it's always just destroyed. Um, tenor and Piccolo again from Pharaoh on that one. Uh, another wild record uh, is this record he appears on with Sun Ra. Uh, this is obviously a reissue, uh, the Superior Viaduct variety, originally released on El Saturn in 76. So you also got uh, Black Herald on the drums. This is live at Judson Hall, um, recorded in 1964. Uh, wasn't released on El Saturn until 76. So, yeah, this sat, what, for 12 years in the vault somewhere before this got released. Um, Judson Hall, of course, was a great place that free jazz musicians had uh, as an outlet. Um, I know the ESP disc had a lot to do with that, too. Um, but that's a love this cover. Um, I've seen originals come up for sale, and they go for four digits. Um, another record he's on, and probably Sonny Chirac's best record, Ask the Ages. Um, yeah, Pharaoh, Alvin Jones. It's a just a free jazz monster of a record. Sonny Schrock, of course, guitar. This is uh, this record I got here thanks to Steve Carlson. Um, this is the v uh, Vinyl Me Please exclusive. Uh, he's a member of that deal, and I'm not, so he was kind enough to order me a copy. Um, much appreciated. That's a great record. Of course, he played on a lot of records with. Alice Coltrane and John Coltrane, so I'll show those. Of course, you got this uh, two-record set of Reflection on Creation in Space. I got a comp that he's on, of course, with Alice. Uh, this, this is a big one. Uh, Todd the Alduid. Uh, of course, Joe Henderson here as well. Um, I still got the hype sticker on this copy. Not in the best of shape, but I got a steal on this at Noble Records years ago. Um, and of course, Journey in Satchitananda, which is a masterpiece. Um, yeah, this one, this one takes you to another another place. Just absolutely phenomenal. Harp and piano from Alice is just uh, sublime here, and Farrell's playing too. Some of his best playing this record. Uh, he's on this live performance um, on Alternative Fox. I guess this is a boot, um, but he's on sax, flute, fife, and percussion here. He could do a lot of other things and just play the sax. Um, this is from 1971 at Carnegie Hall. I think this was a radio. Uh, performance um, so that was unearthed yeah WQXRFM alternative Fox puts out a lot of cool things um, this is definitely one of them um, yeah Ed Blackwell on drums too on this just kills it and then yeah I got a, a bunch of the stuff he played on with John um, he helped John move in a new direction much to the chagrin of some jazz folks back then. But, uh, of course, the first was Ascension. Um, not my favorite Coltrane record, to be honest. Um, large group. 
this one, this one gets, I don't know, it's just a weird, this one's a weird record for me. I don't know why. It just always is sat, it just hasn't sat, this one hasn't sat with me good enough yet. Um, and there he is, standing at the Vanguard with John. Live the Village Vanguard again. And I've actually stood in that same place one time with my friend Creel when I was in New York. Iconic venue. Um, of course, I'm cool. I say mama. Um, playing tenor. This is a fantastic Coltrane record. Uh, this is an original stereo copy. Um, here's a uh, Meditations. Um, this is a copy that uh, was given to me. Who gave this to me? Oh. Well, I'm trying to recall now. Anyway. Dylan, Noble Records. At our first meetup, when Bill was in town, he handed me this record in the parking lot. I think it was his copy. It's a stereo copy. Um, and then we've got, uh, of course, Expression, and also he is on Ohm, and I remember picking this up at Lunchbox, pretty cheap in the used bin once, uh, and I, I know there was a lot of negative commentary on this that I'd read over the years and this one I think this record's fucking great ohm I really dig this one and you've got uh, selflessness uh, featuring my favorite things this one I think is an underrated Coltrane release um, and this is a promo copy on impulse stereo original and of course, there's the other live in Seattle uh, with Pharaoh. This one's kind of getting a little more difficult to find, I think. Yeah. And then you've got, uh, of course, Infinity. This one, a lot of people were upset that this got put out posthumously by Alice Coltrane. Of course, Pharaoh's on this. Um... But I think this is a great... I, I really love this record. Um, very spiritual record, of course. Then there's this bad boy um, offering live at Temple University where things went off the rails, um, to be honest. John's doing some bonkers vocals on this. The horns are all over Tarnation. Pharaoh included uh, the knee-deep in the D-rugs. Um, here. This is how it was. But, uh, it's a great document to have. Fucking wild. This is a wild ass ride right here. I remember playing this for my friend Joe and it didn't set <laughs> with him well. Um, um, as far as impulse goes, he's on uh, this comp, No Energy Crisis. Pharaoh's here with red, black, and green which is, I think, I forget what record that's off of. I think it's up, coming up here uh, in this. Of course, he's on um, one of my favorite records, Cosmic Music. Uh, this one's an original I got from Alex. And I do have the reissue that Superior Viaduct put out. A lot of stuff, folks. I'm trying to move through these fast. Um, of course, on Concert in Japan, being in Coltrane's group, Got to play in that uh, show overseas there in Japan. Fan this is a fantastic one. Also, I, the only time I've seen it, I picked it up. I haven't seen it since. On Impulse. And now I've got what I have is of his as a leader. Um, first of all, I've got this. Well, let me show you this first. Um, I've got this cassette. This is more recent stuff. Uh, Malim Mahmoud Ghania with Feral Sanders, The Trance of Seven Colors. Um, this is fantastic stuff. I'd love to get this on vinyl. Um, I've never
I'd run across it in a shop. It's one I'd rather just pick up. This was a nice little find on our dig in Greenville with Eric Weinbender, John and I. And then we've got, uh, of course, the Pharaoh Sanders Quintet on ESP Disc, uh, the third release from ESP Disc. Uh, this belonged to a, a Duke professor. Uh, she was in charge of, I forget which department at Duke. I had looked it up. Um, last name, uh, Kalau or Kalo. Um, she sold her collection to Carolina Soul, and they said that it was the greatest free jazz collection they'd ever seen at that time. This was some years back. Um, this was probably the first record I ever bought that was over a hundred bucks. Um, and as a matter of fact, I didn't even buy it. My friend Joe was with me. I couldn't afford this, and there was another ESP disc title that day. I didn't have that kind of cash on me that day. I bought some records, but I wasn't able to fork out over a hundred. This one was like a hundred and fifty, and there was another one. Um, what was it? Uh, the the Judson Hall on ESP disc. Noah Howard. So he picked them up for me, and I paid them back. It took me a while. <laughs> Yeah, one of the pricier records from years ago. The first one I was like, well, I'm going over my $30 rule <laughs> for the first time, and this was a well worth it. Um, an interesting lineup, one you don't see ever again, really, with Pharaoh. Stan Foster, trumpet. Jane Getz, piano. William Bennett, bass. Marvin Patillo, percussion from 1965. But uh, ESP Disc was great about letting musicians cut their teeth on their label, and this was one Pharaoh cut his teeth on. Um, and then you get into uh, this record, uh, Tawhid, or Tawhid, I'm not sure how it's said, but uh, Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt, Japan, Aum, Venus, and Capricorn Rising, just an incredible record. This one's pretty unique, um, hard to describe, you need to check this one out. This is a reissue. Most everything I have of Pharaoh's stuff is, is originals, though. Um, got this original stereo Karma. Um, Otherworldly record, of course. Everybody knows that one. Uh, Jewels of Thought. Um, this one gets out there. I remember Alex doing a video driving around a campus in California and was playing some of this in the car. And that's what got me to check this one out. I could be wrong. I think that's how I recall it. Let me know, Alex. This one's freaking wild. It's killer. Cecil McBee's on bass on this. Lonnie Smith, Leon Thomas, Richard Davis, Cecil McBee, Roy Haynes, Idris Muhammad. Um, that's a wild one. Uh, Deaf, Dumb, and Blind. Um, not my favorite. Um, this one is not... I don't know, I just couldn't get into this one. This is a reissue. Um, Femby, which was one of the first I got of his that was leaning more spiritual, and this was this is fantastic. So this one this one kind of really drew me into Farrell Sanders. Um, yeah, red, black, and green's on this one right here. It's on that comp. Um, and there's, of course... Moving through the catalog he did with Impulse. He was with them for a long time. Uh, Black Unity. Fantastic record. Carlos Garnett's on this. Norman Connors on drums. Who's a badass fan. Cecil McBee. Billy Hart also. Um, yeah, this is a great one. Of course, Live at the East. Norman Connors again. Had him around for a while. Um, there's another record I don't have with him and Norman Connors I'd love to find. This is a promo copy. I'm going to show you this one. I haven't shown him any of the actual records. Um, white Label Impulse promo. Um, I've got a few of these promos. I think I got them all from Lunchbox. He had gotten a bunch from a radio station. At some point, I've got a Max Roach on Impulse. It's a white label promo. Things like that. This one's a hell of a live gig. I'll get to that later. Keeping with 
Creative Impulse, Wisdom Through Music. Another great one. And then he did an album with Strata East. Um, Zipo Zam, My Gifts. Sonny Fortune's on this. Uh, Billy Hart, Cecil McBee. A lot of the players he was playing at the time. Of course, Sonny Chirac on guitar. Slay's on this, too. Uh, this is a reissue. Um, I think Alex just sold an original of this. I'd love to have an original, but it's not something I usually see. Um, this I got from Dusty Groove for a cheap deal, markdown. This record's a little bit beat on the cover, but the record plays really good. And this one's this one's a great one. I remember uh, the guys at Tip Top spun this in a DJ set, blew me away. Village of the Pharaohs. Freaking, this is on, uh, again, deep, deep music. Uh, this record, I actually didn't know was in his catalog until I heard it played in a movie, a Denzel Washington movie, where he's, a, I think he's an attorney. Um, and I forget the name of the movie, but uh, based in Los Angeles, Elevation. And this is, this is really great playing from Pharaoh on this. Really dig this one. Um, got uh, probably one of my favorites of his, if not my favorite, Love in Us All. This is just pure bliss, this record. Unbelievable. Just two long sides. Just a fantastic one. Um, I found another copy for like eight bucks at uh, Repo, and I sent it on as VCLT uh, to Henry Derrick Ellis. Um, he had never been able to come across one, so I was happy to send that his way. Um, this one, uh, that word grail that everybody hates, um, this is definitely one of them. Um, the brown cover, I think there might be another colored cover, but this is an original in 1977, The Indian Navigation. There's some good guitar playing on this um as well uh, as pharaoh's playing um beautiful record um i have no idea why this is more expensive than my honda civic now if i was to put that car on the used market it doesn't make any sense to me because i it's not like this is a rare record i see it all the time for sale so it's it, it it's not that rare I mean, if you, there, there's rare records that a lot of us are looking for. This is not one of them. Um, it can be found. It's just, I, so I don't understand the crazy, 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 crazy price. Uh, this is a live record uh, on a label that's kind of underrated, Teresa Records, which I think is out of Chicago. Maybe they're out of California. They're out of California. Um, John Hicks, Piano really good on this um these are very cheap records still these records he did on Teresa. um so if you see these pick them up um let's see then there's also rejoice yeah Teresa records this this time period john hicks is with him billy higgins bobby hutcherson on vibes elvin jones drums different lineup and then uh the last one i have here is journey to the one also on Teresa, um, some different st stuff on this. There you got a Koto player, uh, Japanese instrument, Yoko Ito Gates playing that, uh, John Hicks piano, Idris Muhammad on drums, Joe Bonner also on piano. This is, this is a, I dig this record. So, uh, yeah, rest in peace, Farrell Sanders. Um, of course, everybody call him Farrell. Take care. Peace.